Hello YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. So my name is Stacy Juanita and I'm here with my one month post op. And let me tell you about this month. Okay? But first I want to talk to you about the procedure and the experience I've had within this month with goals and then at the end I'll show you my body so let's start from the beginning I had my surgery August 24th that was four Tuesdays ago four um, I had my surgery with Dr. Pittman I originally was supposed to have my surgery with Dr. Uh, Dresco in the New Jersey location but they don't do the massages and everything at the Jersey location. So one week prior to my surgery, it was changed to the Bronx location with Dr. Pittman. So I found this out when I went to pay my last payment and also get my BMI check. I found this out and that's when my surgery was changed. So. Fast forward, I had my surgery. When I say that was the most painful thing that I have experienced since childbirth. I think if I had an option, I would have another baby and I only have one. <laughs> so, um, let me tell you about what I was feeling. I went there at five o'clock in the morning to get prepped. Mind you, if you didn't come an hour post prior to your surgery, which is at six, they was gonna charge you. So I got there around maybe 4.50, 4.55, no one's there. Five o'clock come, no one's still answering the door. Maybe 5.07, something like that. The girl come walking up and I'm like, well, I'm supposed to be here at five o'clock. So she was like, okay, mind you, there's, she's Spanish. I can barely understand what she's saying. So she said, oh, come on in. So, and she had me sit down. If you look at my last video, you'll see me in the waiting area, waiting to go in the back to get uh, prepped. So um, once I go back there, she's asked me a bunch of questions like what I ate the night before, have I taken any medicine and things of that nature. I told her and she asked me, did I bring my medication? I brought my medication. Mind you, if you don't take your medication with you, that's another charge. So I give her my medication. So she condensed them or whatever I needed. She she condensed the two Zannies, the one antibiotic, one Percocet, and then she gave me two Benadryls. So that's all the medication that I received. So prior to the surgery, she had to take pictures and she took my blood pressure. Um, and we walked through this another door. Then she drops my medication on the floor. Right? So right then, I'm like, this is about to be uh, an experience, right? So she drops the medication on the floor. Mind you, they don't have no more medication there, right? So she's like, oh, no, I'm sorry, mommy, I'm sorry. This area is clean. I'm like, but who wants to eat off the floor? Like, I ain't no child, but okay. But I had to take the medicine. She picks it up. I wipe it off, kiss up the guy and all that, you know. So I'm looking and I'm like, am I supposed to take both these Andes? So um, I was kind of skeptical because let me tell you, I don't like taking medicine. I'm not no pill popper or anything like that. So I called my boyfriend, mind you, he's outside waiting for me for the procedure because he has to pick me up after it's done anyway. So he just stayed so he, so that he wouldn't have to drop back and forth to the hotel. So I'm calling my boyfriend. I'm like, yo, is um, me taking both of these Andes okay? He was like, well, what grand is they? And I was like, one. And he was like, yeah, they fine. That should be fine. That's only two. I'm like... I was scared. So she gives me some water. I take them back right now. I'm sitting there now. From my experience with taking like medicine from because I got my tooth, uh, my wisdom teeth pulled all four of them at one time. And I also had a breast reduction. So by me taking certain medication, it don't kick in just like that. It takes a little while. So I'm I took the medicine. I don't feel anything. Still don't feel nothing. It's like maybe because now while I'm sitting on this bed, it's like these rows of beds, like women sit 
after the procedure or before the procedure. It's just me in there though. Um, I'm sitting there. I see her prepping the room. She brings the little white clear bags in there. And then by this time, it's like 5.45, the doctor comes walking through. So he comes walking through. He looks at me. I say good morning. Like he doesn't even speak. Good morning. Good morning. That's how it was. And he walks past the, the surgery room to, I guess, put his stuff down. And she's still prepping the room. I see her putting the little sheets on the bed, uh, on the bed table, and all that. So six o'clock comes around. I'm kind of feeling it, but I'm not quite feeling it. So she like, come on, mommy, let me get your bag, cause I have my uh, my pocketbook and stuff still. Let me get your bag. I'm gonna lock it up. So she, I watched her lock it up, and we proceed to the room, right? So she was like, um, this is where you're going to be to have your surgery. Like, but she's speaking because she's Spanish. So it's like her English is a little off. So I'm like, what? Which is I am like that. So she, she, she's trying to speak so that I can understand her. So then by then the doctor comes in. He's like, hello, I'm Dr. Pittman. I'm like, hello. Um, he's like, I'm going to do your markings. So he does the markings, right? Does the markings all over my stomach and on my butt. He's like, so I was like, Doc, um, I don't want no big old Nicki Minaj butt that where my butt's not going to match my legs. So he's like, well, I'm glad you told me that. I said, but I want a medium big butt. Like, I still want a big butt. So he's like, okay. So I lay on the table. We start the procedure. He puts the little needles in me for, I guess, the, it's supposed to be the numbing part. Put them in four places, right? Next minute I know. I'm now I'm feeling the drug right so mind you it's bits and pieces that I don't remember from this surgery so he's I, I remember him putting the uh, knife in me I don't feel it though I remember him because I can see it because I'm laying on my back but I'm looking down so next minute I know the machine comes on right he starts the the fat uh, taking out the fat so he's doing the bottom I kind of can feel it a little bit but it's not painful once he does the uh he start doing the top portion of hair baby I'm feeling everything it feels like a, like I'm being burnt from the inside out on top of if you ever cut a steak with a knife with the ridges and you don't cut it right you know how it just scrapes the top of the steak that's what it's feeling like on top of the burning sensation. So I'm expressing to him like, I feel that, I feel that. It hurts, it hurts. Mind you, my hands are back. So by it's hurting and he's up there, I starts to touch my stomach because it hurt. That's like a natural reaction. And he's like, no, you can't touch, you can't touch, you can't touch. I'm like, it hurts, it hurts. So then he moves away from the top and goes back to the bottom and doing it and doing it. And, I'm, and so instead of him giving me more pain medicine or something, he just continued on with the surgery. So this was when I think I blacked out because the pain was so excruciating. I think I blacked out because I don't remember certain parts of, I remember him taking the thing out of the top and went back to the bottom and I blacked out. Then I wake up again and then he's back at the top. Mind you, it, I, I'm on heavy medication so it could just be that I'm just high. But then he goes back to the top. And I'm like, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. And I started to put my hand. He's like, mommy, you almost done, you almost done. You cannot touch, you cannot touch. So the lady comes over and grabs my hands. Because I'm ready to touch my fucking stomach. Because it hurts so bad. So he goes back to the bottom of the sides. I don't know, I think I blacked out again. Next thing I know, she's like, okay, mommy, you're going to go back. You're going to have to turn around. We're going to put something under your stomach and you're going to turn around. So I'm like, okay. So now I'm in pain, I'm ooting and I'm out and everything. I turn onto my stomach and she put this pillow, like a body pillow, but a rolled up one. It's like hard kind of under my stomach. So I'm laying on it. I guess this is the part where you do your butt. So then he sticks. I remember him sticking the little four things and then I black out again. But as I'm, I think as I'm blacking out or as I'm, I don't know, I see him leave the room. I guess the medicine has to numb the area that it needs to numb. It takes a few minutes. So then when he comes back, I, I, I hear the machine again. So that's when I wake up again. So I see him. So I know it's him. 
So he he must have did the cuts already. Cause now he's telling her to put now it's like I guess cold words that they use for them to stop the machine after he put the fat in. So she's counting down the CCs of how much fat he's putting into my butt. I swear this pr process took about two, three minutes. It wasn't it wasn't very long. So he went to did the one cheek, went on to the other side, and she like 2,500 cc or whatever she said. And he like, stop, start, stop, like that. He does it. Next thing I know, he's done, right? I black out again, right? Next minute I wake up, it's another nurse, right? She was like, mommy, um, it's time for you to stand on there. Mind you, I'm all wrapped up shit all like i got this thing on i got these uh pads on my incisions like i'm all wrecked up didn't feel none of that didn't see none none of that didn't see them put none of this stuff on me she's waking me up she's like mommy you gotta stand up stand up so i stands up and i'm dizzy but i'm not dizzy like i'm not i'm not gonna say i'm dizzy i'm just really out of it so she's like are you okay are you gonna fall i'm like no i'm not gonna fall so she was like okay your your person He's out front waiting for you, which was my boyfriend. So I'm like, okay. So she's like, okay, well, hold your hand and we're going to walk to him. I'm like, okay. Mind you, I think I'm walking with my eyes closed. Because I don't remember seeing any of what I saw when I came in here. Like the beds, the room where I got prepped in, none of that. The hallway, none of that. All I remember seeing is his face when, I, when she opened the door. So she passed, him to, passed me to him. We walk out. I remember me walking out. And that's it. I don't remember getting in a truck. I don't remember. He was saying that I was saying that I needed pads and all that. I'm like, we brought all that. So I don't know why he went. He went to write it and got more stuff. And I'm like, why would you go? And we brought all of that with us when we came. He was like, I don't know. You were saying this is what you needed. And, and you were in so much pain. He's like, I just brought you what you asked me. So I went and got in a truck. He done went to write it. And I don't remember getting out the truck after we got back to the hotel. All I remember is waking up two hours later, which y'all saw in the other clip when my daughter was like, it's two hours later. That's what I remember. Anything between the time of me getting the surgery and me walking, I don't remember none of that. I was out of it. So the next day, of course, this is when I had to go back for the drainage and I was looking at my body. I was disappointed. I was mad. I'm like, I don't see a drastic change. Like, I'm looking for some, like, um, I'm looking for, like, a little hump, a little, like, I'm looking for, like, a baddie, but, you know what I mean? Like, and I don't see that, right? So, get the drain, which was another excruciating pain. Like, the first drainage, it was like they pressing on this cut-up stomach that I already left, uh, that I was telling y'all about they draining me or whatever fast forward got the drain y'all seen that part got the drainage at the five days i went home trying to get down mind you i got five massages i'll pay for 10 at five anything after five you have to uh schedule on the phone so i'm home now trying to schedule these appointments so that my boyfriend can take me back when i say it's like pulling teeth well, we don't have this appointment and next appointment. My next appointment was from the time I got home that Saturday. It was two weeks later. Two weeks later. Mind you, you're supposed to at least get a massage, they say, one to two times a week. So, my boyfriend massaged me. He popped the holes back open because um, they closed up. So he went, got some iodine and the little uh, swabs, I guess you would, with the long sticks. He popped them back open. He did what they do at the massages, how they pop them back open. And he rubbed me. Some of the fluid is coming out, some of the fluid is coming out. By the time I got back to them to get a massage, which was two weeks later, my incisions had healed. My one incision up here was healed before I even came home that Saturday. This one wasn't healed as of uh that saturday but this one was so i had this one and then it was the three at the bottom by the time i went to get my massage my sixth massage they all was closed to where she couldn't stick the thing in to open them back up so now she was like oh you're a little 
car, mommy. So she's rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. At this point, it doesn't hurt now. It doesn't hurt. It's just uncomfortable, but it's not pain. So she's trying. So she's like, you're going to need more massages. Have you thought about getting carbo carbo carboxy? carboxy? And I'm like, what is that? Explaining it to, um, She's explaining it to me. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, this is a gag. Because if I would have just got my massages, then I wouldn't need carboxy. Because carboxy is where they uh, insert this, this gas into the hardness to soften it up and all that. But if I was getting my massages like I was supposed to, then I wouldn't be hard. So now carboxy costs $150 per session. I'm like, I'm not paying for that when I was trying to get in here to get an appointment. But I couldn't because y'all only got two locations where y'all do massages at. All these people getting surgery, you got four locations within the same facility and you only got two locations that does the massages. So I'm like pissed off. So she's like, well, we, we, I'm going to rub it out. You just got to keep rubbing, blah, 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 blah. I'm like pissed off because now I feel the hardness. It doesn't hurt, but I feel what they're talking about. But I'm like... This is my my first massage in two weeks since my last one. You gotta come. You gonna get. You gonna have to get more, mommy, because it's it's hard and all that. And I'm like, this is a fucking gag, just so y'all can get this carboxy shit. And I said, well, does that hurt? Well, yeah, it hurt. So now you're trying to put me through more pain. No, I don't want no more fucking pain. Like, this, I'm I'm done with the pain. Like, I don't want to take no more medicine. Like, so got the massage. Now. Mind you, I'm still in my stage one faha. Three weeks later. This faha that I have one, when I show y'all, I had to buy it myself. Because one, when I went back for my seventh faha, they said, oh, we don't have any faha. No, I'm sorry, for my sixth faha, when I went back the two weeks later, I thought, oh, this is my stage one faha. I'm still, um, I'm supposed to get a stage two faha. Oh, mommy, we don't have no state, no fajas right now. They on order. They should be here by Thursday. My job was coming back Thursday because I got two appointments. Because a lady called me for my uh, my uh, three weeks post op or something because she wanted to see how I was doing. And I was telling her about I couldn't get any appointment, so she pushed me in there to get an appointment. So it was um, two days apart. So they were like, well, I said, well, I'll be back Thursday. She's like, they shouldn't be here by Thursday. You should get your faha. I'm like, okay, Thursday, come. Come back, get my massage. Mine's just my seventh massage. Still no fajas. Still no fajas. I'm three weeks post-up in my one, stage one faja that I'm only supposed to have on, what, five to ten days or something like that. And I'm three weeks in. Oh, mommy, they still in post. They should be here tomorrow. I'm not coming all the way to back to New York. I live in Philadelphia. I'm not coming all the way back to New York. A two-hour drive up just to pick up a faha where I can't get another massage. I see if I was getting a massage, then okay. But I can't. Y'all booked up. Can't get the massage. They'll drive two hours back. It's a four-hour drive for a faha when y'all said that I should have it by Thursday and it's still not here. Mind you, this is my third week. Well, we can mail it to you. But how long is that going to take? Only a couple business days. We'll mail it tomorrow, which is Friday. Okay. So, I leave. Faha got here Tuesday. Now, mind you, the Faha that they gave me the first time was a 4X. The Faha they mailed to me was an extra large. I tried the Faha one. Couldn't fit it. Cannot fit that shit. That shit stopped like the two it stopped right here now how in the hell you want me to stretch this thing all the way over here i don't know it would when you stretched it it only came to like right here couldn't get it up my leg stretching it was too small too fucking small so i called them i'm like i was just mailed a faha this is my sec my stage two faha they mailed it to me and it's the wrong size it's an extra large I need a bigger one. My first one was a 4X. You know what they tell me? I said, so can y'all just mail me another one now and I'll mail this one back? No, mommy, you have to bring it back. <laughs> what? Bring it back when y'all mailed me out the wrong one. That's a four hour drive for Faha. I'm like, I cannot. I said, first of all, the person who brings me 
is working and y'all close at six o'clock he gets off of work at four o'clock with traffic we're not going to make it up it, it takes it about two hours and 20 minutes during traffic why can't y'all know well, you have to bring we have to ex um, exchange it like that we can't mail you out another one when i say i was pissed 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 so i'm telling my boyfriend Mind you, he took off a day during the week, but he's so mad because he's tired of driving. He's putting all these miles on his truck, back and forth, back and forth. He's like, yo, I'll just buy you one. I'm like, but I pay for this one already. He's like, I don't care. I don't want to drive all the way up there just for a five. I'll just buy you another one. So we researched, we Googled somewhere in Philadelphia to see if I can get a good five. Goes to this place, and this is where I got this one at. Now, mind you, everybody's five are different. So this is a five X. So she took it in. It's still a little loose around here because I guess the way it's shaped, it doesn't um, have cushion for the hips that they gave me. So she couldn't make it too tight around here. So I have to put the foams in. As of right now, I don't have anything because I wanted to show you on my body, but I had to put the foams in to make it a little tighter. It's tight, but this one is on its last thing. So I'm gonna have to get it taken in some more. Now, I'm supposed to, which is today is the, uh, what's today's date? The 19th, 20th or something? I don't know. It's Tuesday, four weeks from today. And I don't have my phone in the room. I was supposed to, I have to call today to make uh, an appointment to see the doctor in December. All right? So I'm going to take that motherfucker in December and they're gonna give me a new one I don't give a fuck I paid for it so I contacted goals yesterday through their little DMs and I asked them a question I was like um hello I have a question how can I make a complaint if I'm not satisfied with my results how can I get this rectified they asked me did I have my surgery Yes, clearly, if I'm trying to make a complaint, but okay, yes. They take my name and number. We'll see if they call me. But I, I'm just so, like, disappointed with my results. Like, I'm just disappointed. My butt has no roundness to it, no projection. Like, it's still a little dent in on the side where some fat could have went. My stomach looked like it's uneven light bulb but it could still be swollen because it's still a little tender because i go somewhere else to get massages because i can't get them at gold so i had to pay for massages as well i pay for a faha and i pay for massages in philadelphia so it's still a little tender but that's my experience and how my experience been for the first month of this recovery process so with that being said, I'm going to show y'all my results or what they look like so far. And um, yeah, I would unbuck to show y'all my stomach, but it's just, I mean, it don't look like anything. So I'm going to show y'all what it looked like. Don't mind my uh, my room. I'm in my beauty room, I guess you would say. I got wigs everywhere. I got makeup, all that. Got my sewing machine, cause I make wigs, by the way. <laughs> I'm starting to make them anyway, so. But, can y'all see me in this mirror? Probably not. Can you see me? I'm trying to see. This is the front. Let me see if I can zoom out some more. Nope, can't. This is. Let me put y'all on a thing. Let me put y'all on a thing and I show y'all. Yeah, it should be better. Yeah. So this is the front of me. Like, I like this a little bit. Like, I got the little hips, I guess. This is the side. 
Now, if you see, I don't know if y'all can see, but let me get closer. You can see right here where some fat needed to be. All right? This is the bag. Mind you, again, this Faha is holding a lot of it together as well. And this is the other side where fat could have been. You can just see the, the line. You see my stomach. Now, mind you, I have no foams in. No foams. So this is my actual stomach. How small it is. I sh tried to show y'all a picture of my stomach. The first uh, video, but if I can, I'll try to insert a picture of what I look like prior to the surgery. But look, you can just see the butt is like still flat, like still flat. Like, where is my? You know what I mean? It's like crazy. Oh, I show you good you know but yeah like this is nice I like this but then you get to the butt it's no it's barely no butt like I wanted something like I ain't needed to be real big but it could have been more rounder so yes this is my one month check in with you guys so i'll come back and check in with you guys in a couple of months um subscribe to my channel i want to uh have some other content on here i was going to sit down and do a get ready with me but i'm not going anywhere i can't sit down yet not for six weeks i mean i sit on that little hard booty pillow yeah, it's hard honey it's hard it hurts my thighs so I don't sit on it for very long. I'm still laying on my stomach. Um, yeah, so I'll check back in. Definitely going to check back in to see what happens with this complaint that I'm going to file. If it goes anywhere. Or if they can do something for it, for me. Like, um, fix their mistake. I, I know it's going to cost some more money, but... It shouldn't be another sixty-five, seven thousand dollars for y'all to fix your mistake. So, until next time, guys, like, share, subscribe. I'm trying to get some subscribers. And until next time, guys.